So please allow me a few minutes to synthesize the uh, open forum. I think uh, there is more convergence than divergence in the conversations we earlier had. Um, the one major point of contention is what role does public service play in the duty scheme of things. Um, there is one who said it should not be the main role, but uh, there seems to be affirmation that it's part and parcel of what we do as a university and that it can go the whole range from you know, forests such as this to community empowerment and playing a leadership role as a national university presupposes already the rendering of public service in the many forms that we actually uh, do it both at high, high policy level and on the ground. So it cannot be divorced from the mandate of the university. Uh, what may have to be done is to be more uh, clear about the incentives, and maybe to, to add more to the incentives for public service, in terms of promotion, in terms of being able to also uh, recognize and disseminate current initiatives that are actually being done but are not sufficiently disseminated to the public, especially when it comes to uh, issues like uh, capacitating local governments, the Bayanite movement, for example. So it's really a communication issue and uh, seems that it will be a focus of uh, the current administration to make the public know better about what we're doing. And then uh, part of the public service uh, issue or debate has to do with the patents, the science commons, and the debate there is whether or not UP should be engaging in it in a strict manner with a bureaucracy. And it seems that after the discussions, it became clear that UP is not going to do it in the sense of constraining uh, the use of inventions or knowledge that is generated inside, but to facilitate it, and perhaps also to make sure that we develop a culture of innovation and improvisation that can make use of whatever rules are there to make uh, well, new inventions or innovations that would benefit our people as what has been done in Vietnam, for example. Now, there are dilemmas that we face as an academic institution doing public service. One is how do we deal with foreign funding and other uh, agencies that may impose their own agenda on us. And the uh, resolution of that dilemma is that we just we should develop our own agendas and not be, uh, be subject to the impositions of others and that there ought to be a clear um, articulation of what that agenda should be to whoever is willing to fund. And there is the reverse process also of the uh, imposing or suggesting our own agenda, let's say, of government agencies because we have the expertise and we have the knowledge base. Um, Regarding uh, other issues like what is best and who, who defines what is best and the role of surveys, I think there is a kind of agreement that we need to lift what we consider to be best towards greater excellence over time and that the measures of excellence may not be that standardized for all kinds of disciplines, natural science, social science, arts, but there is a common, uh, well, um, initiative or projection of the role of publications in achieving this measure of excellence, and this can happen not only in the natural sciences, but also in the social sciences, and even in, for people who write in Filipino, the incentives are already there. And we need not be subject to uh, measures uh, or evaluations by other uh, sources who think we should be the microcosm of Philippine society because we are not. And that, that kind of measure actually insults us in the sense that um, 
well, we're different. We're trying to change society so we cannot be reflective of that society. I thought of. <laughs> and um, the surveys may not be all that relevant to us, especially if they talk about or denigrate public service. or that not have any measure of, of that. And if they measure us in terms of international number of international students, or visiting professors, etc. So in some, I think we had a very fruitful morning. And may I again thank the sponsors, the Third World Studies Center, and the Office of the Vice President for Public Affairs. May I also remind you that the Third World Center, the Study Center has a blog spot on the internet, and you can access or download the proceedings of this forum on that website. So, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pagandang araw po sa ating lahat.